All right, so let's see. Vlad is drinking a lot of water oh, yes. back here. I mean, I mean, I think back here we're just used to the heat. We know how to. Yeah, we know yeah, how we, to deal with it. We know how it. to deal with it. You with know, right we're here. used to it. Uh, you know, I think <laughs> it's part of us at this time. Yeah, yeah, and I also do drink a lot of water, even though we're used to heat in this mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. part of uh, of the world. But uh, the it's, you said, thank God it's Monday. Yes, thank God it's Monday. <laughs> thank God it's a green Monday. You know, in the crypto space, we're seeing. I think you sustain uh, this from Friday. Green. Yeah, from Friday. Yeah. Yes, it's uh, Good quite for looking you. Uh, bullish, but you know, uh, traders are still cautious, you know, in this market. It could flip uh, anyway you know, in the coming days. But uh, fear greed index is also looking good at 20 points, even though it's still an extreme fear and the market is showing, you know, sentiment with traders now is improving. We're at about 10 and 11 points for the past uh, few weeks. But now getting to 20 points, hopefully we'll see extreme greed uh, greed at some point in this market. Uh, market cap. This morning, it's up 2.39%. Volume traded up 4.28%. And we see Bitcoin dominance there sitting at 41.72%. It's been ranging between the 40% uh, percent and 43% uh, range. Uh, price of Bitcoin, $21,808, up 2.37%. Uh, at this hour, it's trading about $22,000. We're seeing a lot of bullish uh, movement there with the price of Bitcoin. Also, volume there traded $27.73 billion. And we see Ethereum also uh, kind of outpacing uh, Bitcoin this morning. It's up about uh, 7% at $1,442. Volume traded $18.77 billion. And look at the top holes for market cap. It's all green. It's a green market today. Uh, let's bring in Rume Ofi now, digital market analyst. Hello, Rume. Good morning. It's a green Monday. Huh? Yeah, it's, green, it's Monday. green Monday, and it's understandable that you're excited, <laughs> uh, Rume. How are you seeing this? C can we sustain this momentum this week? All right. See, this is exactly what is going on in the market right about now. It's, uh, you know, the market actually responds to uh, all of the global sentiment going on. You've seen these rallies moving across riskier assets, not just Bitcoin or, or cryptocurrency. Talks of, you see the stocks of uh, this morning about... Uh, 6%, the stock of Coinbase actually gone up and some other tech stock, right? And this is as a result of the fact that, you know, when the price of oil was really high, it was the gas prices were high, and it's actually affecting people that are involved in risky assets like, like uh, Bitcoin. But you see that last week, uh, the president of the United States actually has gone to see uh, the crown prince of uh, Saudi Arabia, that is Prince uh, Mohammed bin Sal Salman, and the discussion is about how to pump more oil, and this is also very positive for Bitcoin. And we're going to see sustain. Uh, what I'm looking at really is uh, you, you take a critical look at uh, the 200 day moving average. We are actually uh, heading above it gradually, and very soon, I'm very optimistic. 30,000 is going to be inside. Wow, 30k. Well, it will be quite interesting to see that level. You know, we've been used to uh, the bear market, you know, in this market. But uh, let's look at another story. Now, we're seeing the Central African Republic after, you know, you know, approving uh, Bitcoin as legal tender. Now, they're taking it a step further to add it as a reserve asset. How are you seeing this? You know, that, that country is going to be more like uh, our kind of El Salvador. But in this time in Africa, I know it's... Uh, it is so, so, so important. They, previously, they came up with uh, their own uh, tokenized um, uh, currency uh, for their natural resources. This only shows that this country actually is looking forward to the realities of digital assets, for example. And it is a welcome development. I know some, uh, we're already seeing uh, reactions from the IMF and some other uh, banks, even, even the Central Bank of uh, some African, uh, Central African states. Uh, you know, are reacting to this, but I think this is a right a step in the right direction because what is headed to this innovative technology, and everyone wants to protect themselves and also make change. And the best time to come in is this early time. A lot of innovation, and I believe this is actually targeted towards companies that are built around the blockchain space, not just cryptocurrencies now, because uh, they are being represented differently. For example. The UK has said is that they're going to see it as a financial asset, financial asset, and some other countries. You know, so uh, I think it is positioning themselves very well, and they're going to take all of the opportunities that come with uh, cash flow from these companies that are coming to the country. Right, uh, and uh, Rume, 
uh, legacy investors would argue that, you know, adding such a volatile uh, asset, you know, into your reserve, uh, 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 your reserve uh, currency is quite risky, I must say. Yes, exactly. There's no doubt. It is quite risky, no doubt. But as we grow further, let's not forget, it is just 13 years and it's gaining momentum. It has done three, three uh, trillion dollars market capital. Right. Although it's one trillion dollars now. So let's watch this new uh, technology grow. Okay. And it is because a lot of a lot of people are actually speculating. They don't understand the underlying value of it. And I and I and I and I put fingers for that. What we we'll begin to see other technologies, even rolling on the blockchain, or like logistics and some of that is what NFT has done in the period in the short period of time is going okay. to be involved and the best thing to come. All right, Rumi, quite, quite interesting uh, time seeing, you know, a, a Bitcoin as an asset, you know, added to our reserves. Quite interesting. Thank you so much, uh, Rumi. Always great to have your perspective. Thank you very much, Ladi. I can always say that you're early adopters, too. <laughs> Early adopters. <laughs> great, great. All right, now we look at the top five gainers. We see uh, double digit gains uh, this morning with T Fuel uh, leading that counter up 20.74%. So, uh, in it, uh, it's a really green uh, market we're seeing uh, this morning. It remains to be seen if we can actually hold on you know, for the week. Yeah, it remains to be seen. And we, well, we look, we'll just keep our fingers crossed and find the crossed. story yeah. and find out how it ends at the end of the week. Thank you so much, Laddie. Thank you.